Oh. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. I've got the smallest like 3 O hook on. There's no way I land this. Wow. Alright, so we've just pulled up to this uh, stretch of the coastline here and we're going to fish a few different zones today and my plan is really to show off these little things right here. This is the curly prawn from the guys at Chase Baits. I'm going to fish them in a whole different range of places today. I even went down to my hometown Brisbane recently fishing in some high pressured areas. Hey, Brian's cooking up a feed, got bacon, eggs on the boat, pretty man. And just fishing this little bit of a, it's kind of like a shoal. We'll be 13, 14 meters deep, see if we can get another snapper or something to start the day. On the, we've got a 1 8 ounce jig head. Yeah, just pretty light for like 14 meters, but the slow sink is the key. You want that slow sink in the water column. Yep, on the sink. There we go. <laughs> That's kind of what we wanted. Oh, it's popped off! No! Oh! It's all right. Get back out there. Good job! Right now. Yeah mate, what have we got on there? Eggs, bacon, cheese. Egg, bacon, Fire. cheese, sauce. Not bad. Thanks for that. I'm bending, can you take this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't wind. <laughs> this is a spire for sure. <laughs> I couldn't bloody wind. There hey. we go. Good start to the morning. Haven't even had me brekkie yet. And we're bending. Not too shabby. Ow! Desmond. Lovely fish. On the curly prawn again, those I just showed you. Not too shabby. Do we want to keep him? Have a look. He's definitely legal. Yeah? Yeah, grab the brag mat though. Just under 40. Nah, it's alright, we'll let him go. Pretty good to go. Woo. See you mate. Cast that back out there. It was I. Rap. Mint. Let's turn the camera off on my head. <laughs> I just turned the camera off my head. I took one bite. I think this one's a bit bigger, man. Ah. I took one bite. <laughs> Hooked up again. That's the way it is. I'll just keep looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, it's similar size. They won't even let me have me brekkie out here, man. Ah. So that's pretty fish. Look at him. What a guy. See you, bud. Try again for the third time to eat my rat. Oh, mum. Again. Tiny where this is. I just want to eat my rat now. Sorry, I fell off. Bim. Yeah. 
small. Oh, it's a tailor. I think. Yes, tailor. Yeah. That's like my first tailor in like, I don't even know how many, I think it's like been like at least five years, I reckon. See you, bud. Woo. All right, move zones again. We just pulled up to the edge of this um, this reef here, and we got run out tide draining off. So we're just going to fish along the edge of it, going up here. Oh! Oh shit! Is that a shark? Is that a shark just sending it? Or is that a dolphin? Probably a dolphin there. Yeah. What a coward! I'll leave a little bit out, eh? Oh, here it is. <laughs> hey, 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 go, go. <laughs> Yeah, he wants it, man. Try. Come here. <laughs> put, put your hand in the water. He'll, cut, he'll, he'll grab it. He's oh, now he's yeeting off. Whoa! He's showing off to us, man. I don't know what this is, man. It, it flew at me at a million miles an hour mm. and then took off. And I literally have no net. I have no idea what this is gonna be, bro. Not heaps of head shakes, so I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a big snapper, man. It's huge. I wasn't filming, I was kind of done for the day. <laughs> and I've just hooked a tank snapper, bro. But we've got no net. How are we going to do this? Um, I don't know, man. This is going to be hard as hell. I'm going to have to try and scoop it in. This is so sketchy. Like oh, the lure nearly just fell out. Hold the rod. No, hold it down, bro. Yeah. Fuck, I just, yeah, that's why I'm just worried about you holding the rod. Yeah. You got it? Hold the rod. Got him. <laughs> no way, man. That's a tank. Man, I wish you guys could have seen the hookup, but I'm an idiot for not filming. Standard. That is epic, bro. That is a stud, bro. That's like, that's got to be close to 60, man. Got me brag mat and everything. He flew at me, bro, and then absolutely took off. What do we got? We got 61. Yeah. Well, actually, no, we'll do this tail. That's the normal tail. 60. It's like 63. If you turn the tail like that, six, oh, 64, 63 and a half. All right, there we go. That's an absolute cracking um, snapper for inshore here. Super shallow water. We were in probably not even two meters. And. You wouldn't have seen it because I bloody didn't have the camera on my head, of course, but 
hooked him, he came out the boat and just went out the back and absolutely took off. I didn't even think this was going to be a snapper, but um, yeah, bloody epic fish, man. I can't bloody complain about that. Unfortunately for him, he's going to go on the esky. We'll get him sorted and we'll um, get back to fishing. Another hook up. Oh no. He's right on that reef, bro. Yeah, it's another one. Not as big. Pulled him in pretty quick compared to that other one. Let's go. He's not too bad. I don't really like the whole no net thing, but he's got a little knob on his head for a little tucker. Man, they actually fight pretty good, man. So sketch. <laughs> Got the dog! Basically, right there is your kind of perfect pan sized fish. Doesn't get too much tastier than a snapper around this size. We're going to be eating well. So he is, it's like 45. Heard people say to me before in the comments, people say, oh, those lures only work because you're up north in the tropics. But here I am, fishing one of the most pressured areas and catching some nice quality fish. Right there, that's the, the curly prawn. Just rigged on a, you know, we've got a 1 8 ounce jig head, 3 0 hook, nice light sink, which is great for the snapper. Oh, I'm bending. This is not a pike. That's a little tusky, man. It's, um, I can't remember what the name of these ones are. They're like super pretty, but not the uh, biggest fish in the world, but super pretty. See you, bud. Ah. Like I said earlier, we're going to fish these at a bunch of different places today. Um, starting off, obviously, shallow along the coastline here. But basically just going to be fishing them along the bottom. There's bommies and rocks and all that kind of thing all along here. Um, just pretty much sinking them down. A few hops on the bottom and um, yeah, work it back to the boat. It's basically all you need to do. Hexy God, bro. Oh, oh it's pulling. Oh. It's pulling. What is that? What is that? What is it? Is that a dark tail? It's a, ja oh. it's a Chinaman. What is it? It's a little China. <laughs> I thought it was a jack, hey. Get it in, brah. Sick. That looks all they look cool as and they're juvenile, eh? Yeah. Very cool. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what was that? I just sent him so high in the air. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's a little cooter. Yeah, it's a double. Yeah, sick man. Sick as double. <laughs> oh! There we go. How about that? First, what, 10 minutes? 10 minutes in on the curly prawn. Ben's on the curly prawn as well. How do you feel, mate? Tell no, us, looks, give us some words. Give us some words. Feels good, man. First uh, first day up here, so it's good to finally uh, get a few fish in the boat. Oh, Thank you. 
didn't introduce him before, but I'm out with my good mate, Ben. Now, if you're an OG subscriber of the channel, uh, you might remember Ben, he was in some of my like very, like my earliest videos years and years ago, um, but he's actually just moved up. He's my new housemate, so you're probably gonna see him in a lot of videos to come. He's pretty annoying, but we'll, um, Poor we'll, me, eh? have, we'll, we'll have, manage, we'll manage. Having to live with you, <laughs> far out, you struggle. Oh, you're busted. Nah, I just popped off. Oh, <laughs> I just saw him. Yes, I just saw him come out and eat that. Get him in there. <laughs> he just zoomed out of the bloody bomb you there. There we go, first trout of the day. Bit small, but to start. See you, mate. Hexy for sure. Oh, no. Oh, it's like a little ras. What is that? It's, I can't remember the name of these, but some some sort of ras. Look at this guy. Crazy colours. See you, buddy. He chomped me bloody prawn in half, but... That'll still work. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll, um, we'll try a different colour for now, so this is what they look like in the packs if you wanted to check them out in stores. So Ben's using a little brown one, so I'll switch and we'll use a different colour. Yeah, so I've just got this on like a, a 1 8 jig head, there's about a 3 0 hook. What happened? Cooter. No, I think I literally just got bricked. Yeah. I literally, as, as soon as I set the hook, it literally was just... Yeah, there's not much you can do. Dusted. Oh! Straight away, on the sink. I didn't even get to work it. Looks tasty, potentially. <laughs> Feels like a cod though. Yeah. yeah. Bloody hexy. Good hexy though. Solid. Really good. Nah, man. This should now should be. Oh! Ah, you bastard. Spiked the hell out of me. What leader are you running? <laughs> I think I got 20 on this rod, man. <laughs> I'm just waiting until I get smoked and then tie my other rod. <sighs> That's what I was using last time. Oh! Oh, this is big, man. Oh, he's in the reef. I got such light later on. Oh. oh, no. That was good, eh? I was literally just saying, I'm just kind of waiting till I get smoked, and then on the sink, that cast got smoked. Wow. Well, go on to the heavier rod. I, sh I shouldn't have been using this in the first place, but I, I was. We'll grab a bit more of an appropriate rod for this. <sighs> bigger reel, bigger rod, heavier line. Try again. Baraman. Oh! Holy! Micro trout. Absolute <laughs> mark. I thought it was a hexy, but look at the size. This might be the smallest trout I've ever caught. So cute. That's unreal. Bending. Hexy. Nice oh. little trout. We're getting, we're getting in on. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. Is that off this bombing? Uh, not quite. I was just short of it. Oh man, well, that's unfortunate. Yup. Oh. oh. Get him! <laughs> oh, Stripey. What? He nearly got me for a sec. <laughs> he nearly got me. Pretty little guy. He's inhaled the prawn. There you go. See you, mate.
Oh, oh, I forgot to back the drag off. No, I backed the drag off to retie leader. He's got me in something. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll try and go over the back. Maybe free spill, right? Yeah, but if it's a tusky, a free spill is. Yeah. Yeah, he's bloody deep. It's so annoying, I forgot my drag, man. Retired. Check the drag. The drag is pretty cranked. And I've tied on like a longer length of leader as well, just so uh, if we get buried again, got a bit more leeway. Because um, the braid usually breaks pretty easy on the sharp reef, whereas the leaders, you get a bit more, you know, room for error. Woo! Trout, surely. Let's go. Now, I don't know if anyone's seen this before, but you can see these little black spots in them. I've never really even seen them on trout before. I'm hoping, hoping someone in the comments can tell me what that, what that actually is, but... Um, some of the... Whoa! Belly as well. Yeah, very Ooh. weird. It's like yellow and green and... Yeah, probably not going to keep that guy. We'll chuck him back. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well we gave it a good crack in this zone, but I think it's time to, um, time to move on. Alright, so we just made a move, it's pulled up to this little island here, and we've got, there's a big flat up here, and we've got the reef edge. We're about an hour and a bit into the run out tide, so fish and bait's kind of getting flushed off these flats, and it kind of has to come off these edges, so we're hoping there's going to be some fish here to kind of ambush them. Same sort of deal, and a fish the curly prawns along the edge. Um. Straight into them. Oh! Another one of these weird rasps, man. That's pretty crazy looking. I, can't, I forget what these are called all the time, but there's some sort of rasps. You need yeah. a Micro trout. He's going to leave on eventually. Not sure, eh? Not sure about that. Get him! Oh, what was that? That's big, man. Yeah. Stripey. Stripey. Let's see if you can get whatever. Look at that one. Got him. Another stripey? No, I think this is a. Yeah. Oh, it is. Doubled up. Doubles on the strikeys. It's definitely not what followed him out, but... Yeah. Man, tell you what, a lot of these fish aren't very big, but they are so pretty. Look at this guy. Oh! He's got it. Oh. It's a mackerel. Yep, snip me. Look, he's got it in his mouth. I can see him. He's got it. He's, no, I can see him. He's hooked up and he snipped you off. What's your line, bro? Dude! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why does this happen to me? Oh, no! Oh. Mackerel? Yeah. Oh. Is it the same one? No. There's multiple. Yours is there. Oh. <laughs> Dude, your, yours is still trying to shake it off. <laughs> oh, it's a barred mackerel. Yeah! Your toes. Oh. I think that's a barred mackerel. Unless I'm tripping and that's a little Spanish. I don't know. Someone in the comments will tell me. Oh my god. Yeah, see if I'd. Nice release, dude. Alright, well, this zone's probably not producing as, um, as much as I hoped for, but as you can bloody see, it's a um, absolutely glamorous day. So we're going to make a bit of a punch, go out a bit wider, and um, hit one of the other islands, see if we can, um, see if we can turn our luck around today. Uh, 
Alright, so we've just moved to spot number two, and as you can see here, we've got this shallow flat uh, close to the islands, and as it comes to the edge, it drops off to a few meters, and you've got reef all spread out through here. We're just kind of fishing along that reef, along the edge of that flat. Same sort of deal. Still using, still using the curly prawn. We've got to get a couple legal trout for dinner, so we need to make that happen. So we're still working on that, but you know, we're catching, catching a lot of fish. Just this, the size just isn't there at the moment. And first cast, we got a trout, but same issue. It's just undersized. Oh, turtle. Oh, that turtle? Yeah. Get him. Don't take my head off, but get him. It's gonna be a hexy man. It's getting smaller. <laughs> a tusky. Oh, um, oh my god. Woo! It's one of those, um. Venus? Green, nah, uh, they're green tuskies, man. Bye. Alright, well we're having some bloody dramas catching illegal fish up in shallow, so what we might do is we might just push out into some deeper stuff. We've got a couple wrecks and shoal we can fish as well. We fish deep and shallow down south, so we may as well fish deep and shallow here as well. It only makes sense. Alright, so we just moved uh, out to one of these wrecks. We're in like 22 metres of water. Got the curly prawn on again, as we've been using all day, but just chucked on the half ounce jig head. It's about the heaviest I got for a small hook, so... It'll be interesting to see how easy we can get down. You just hook up on the sink? Oh yep, sweet. There goes your vibe, man. <laughs> it's mackerel. Yeah, you're coming into fish now. Uh, come on, surely. Look at that stack of fish on the sounder there as we're coming into the wreck. Surely big hookups. Oh. Coward. I got bitten off. Oh, true. I was like, why isn't that sinking? And I was like... <laughs> oh my gosh, he's mackerel, man. Alright, re-rigged, new jig head, new plastic. We'll try again. Mackerel are pretty savage, there's not much you can do about it. Yep. Big. Oh my. Wow. Wow, man. My braid's done. Yeah, right. See? Did he get me on the wreck that quick? What the hell? He must have got me on the wreck. Well, rip. I guess I gotta re retie again. Get him. Ah, that's annoying. Oh my! You God. got a grinner. Another one. Another one. You're a different breed. Yeah, I do. Alrighty, rig back up and try again. Oh. This isn't small now, I don't think. Oh, actually, it's not that big. I think this might even be like. I don't know what this is actually. Oh, I'll get the net ready. I think it's a mackerel. Yeah, it's a mackerel, yeah. I just hooked him in the side, that's why it felt heavier. Holy. He followed it up. <laughs> Excuse me. Coming up there. Whoa! Right. Grab the brag, mate. We'll see how big he is. Cause we've got a family to feed, you know. Yeah, he's like yeah, he's like 60 centimeters anyway. Yeah. Sweet. Give you guys a bit of look. Little school mackerel there. Gonna bleed him. Chuck him in the esky, and it's dinner for the fellas. I bet. We're about to come through the wreck. Oh, we might be just south of it again. I'm gonna cast. Oh, oh, Jesus. Yep. Oh. Be a mackerel. Yeah. I can't even wind it back up. There's so many mackerel here, man. It's 
a little tucker. Bye. It's all, it's all going on. It's all going on out there. Oh, this is definitely not a mackerel. Oh no. Oh no. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Stop him, <laughs> I've got the smallest like 3 0 hook on. That's big. I can't do too much here. Just gotta just on the boat, eh? Just gotta pray a little bit. You know. Oh my <laughs> Uh, this is exactly what happened last time. Banger? No, it's not. There's no tail beats. Just head shakes. Holy, the sound is beautiful. Turn that camera around to me. Twist it, bro. Twist the whole stem. There's no way I land this. It a bit? No, we need to be dragging it away from the wreck. If you chase it, it'll just be on top of the wreck. Yeah, yeah. It's probably already like at the wreck and on in there. I just got such a little hook on. I know. <sighs> it's Coming. It's coming up. Probably grab that net in the yeah, separate. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Just in case. Well, I didn't want to like, get it ready too soon. Yeah, no. He's going back down anyway. Do you want to swap the batteries out on that? Batteries are just under the console. Jesus. Oh. Hurry up, because this thing's gonna, the one on my head's gonna die as well. This thing is just dumping, man. Wow. Just get that, put that on the seat so it's ready. He's coming up though. Let's grab that net. I, I think I know what this is. Can I, it can only be one thing. Is that good or bad? Could be good if we land it. Might need a bigger net, eh? It's a pretty big net, man. See it? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Oh, I'm not sure it's going to fit in the net. <laughs> Told ya. <laughs> oh, Ooh. are you joking? <laughs> are you kidding me? You might have to get in the gills or something, bro. We'll get the head in at least. 
he's pretty car he's pretty cooked. Yeah, you're probably gonna break the net. Hold up. You got it? Can you grab the frame of it? You got it? I've got, I've it's gonna be heavy. Do you need a hand? It's not gonna rip the net. That's silly. It shouldn't rip the net. <laughs> Are you serious, dude? Look at that size. Are you serious? That's got to be 140, 150, Holy man. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I can't wait to see the hook, man. Oh, bro, I've got the smallest... Bro. Get the um, brag net. Is... I know it didn't have the tail beats of a GT. Yeah, I, yeah. I, there's only one thing that would fight that hard. I didn't want to say it. I, I knew what you were I knew, I know. I knew what it yeah, It's going bigger than you, braggy. Yeah. I know. Bro. Look, oh my god, bro. It's just pinned in the side. Uh. Yeah, it's over. Man, it's... So it's like 130. 130's the mat. 130 is the so whole it's mat. it's like 140. It's like, yeah, 135. I reckon 135. Yeah, as you can see here, you got the little curly prawn, like just pinned in the corner of the mouth there. Like that is a 2-0 hook and it's like, actually I think it's a 3-0 and it's just in there. Oh, this thing's all of like... Wow, dude. Well, how about that, a good, it's like 135, 135 centimeters black dew off a wreck on little, and you can see there, little, whoa, little 65 mil curly prawn. Absolutely insane. <laughs> like I wanted to catch one of these fish for so long and never had the opportunity to. Never thought I'd land it on like a little lure, like a 3-0 hook. Literally, this would be easy 20 kilos. Like it's proper big animal. It's crazy. It is huge. <laughs> um, Yeah, so I'm just taking my time, I'm just gonna try and swim in best I can. They suffer really badly from barotrauma, so they don't really survive very well. But we're gonna give this guy a chance, but if he doesn't swim off, we'll have to um we'll have to take him home. I was I was thinking during the fight, I'm like, it doesn't have the tail beats like a GT. There's only one other fish that could fight this hard. Exactly what I thought it was. Black Jewfish. Crazy, crazy fish. All right, I'm gonna try to give him a spear. See how he goes. We've been holding him here for about 10 minutes. Uh, he's, he, he's getting pretty lively. See, so he's kicking, his fins are up. I'll give it a go. Oh. He's going. He's actually going down. He's going. How do you feel, bro? <sighs> Good. That was hectic. Far out. I had, the whole time, I'm like, I wasn't even nervous the whole time because I was like, I'm not going to land this. There's no, there's no chance. Like, but we got lucky. <laughs> now, I don't know if you guys heard me talking through the fight as well that I was nervous about the hook that I had on. I literally had a little 3 0 hook on, and I'll show you right here. This thing right here is twisted and bent. Like, <laughs> I don't know how that like held up. I backed off the drag a couple times because I knew there was a bit of pressure, but I still had to put a lot of pressure on P3 tackle on a 3 0 hook on like a 20 plus kilo Dewey. That's pretty mental. Well, that's me. I'm done. That's, um, it's. <laughs> It's a great way to end the video and it's a great way to show off just the amount of stuff you can catch on those bloody little curly prawns. Like we've, we would have caught like at least 10 different species today, a bunch back down in Brisbane. And, I'll, and that jewelry is something that I've wanted to catch for a while as well that I've never really had the chance to catch a big one. Like I've lost a fair few and um, just things hadn't lined up, but we, we got the job done. Now we can go home, have a beer, but I'll catch you next time. Peace.